What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich, and I am an online reseller. Now, in today's episode, you and I are going to take some photos of these. I bought these in the last episode of A Day in the Life, and I really need to get around to listing them. So, in today's episode, I'm going to walk you through my hints, tips, and tricks on how to take the best photos possible to generate the biggest amount of sales you possibly can and get the most interest in your items. Because ultimately, what people see on your listing is ultimately going to determine whether or not they want to buy the product. So, your photos are incredibly crucial, and there's some really good ways to make them the best they can be. So, I'm going to jump into them right now, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing that I think about when I'm trying to take a really good photo is I try to focus on really good lighting. Now, really good lighting comes in many different ways. You can use the lamp, that works pretty well. You can use the sunlight shining in, that can take a pretty good photo too. But the one thing that I really like to use for all of my photos is this guy. It's my ring light. I use this for every single photo capture and it works really well. Now, this guy's got three different light settings. He only cost me about $30. I bought it on eBay and it came really fast. So definitely jump onto eBay and just buy yourself a ring light. It's gonna improve your photo taking a lot. So lighting, really, really crucial. Make sure you get it right. Use different types of lights. So you can use the ceiling lights of your house. You can use the sunlight. Just experiment with different things. But my first tip is make sure the lighting is great and get yourself a ring light. It doesn't need to cost too much and it can improve your photos dramatically. Now, the second thing that I like to think about is my background. And don't just think about the item that you're trying to capture. Think about the entire image as a whole. So when you take your photos, try and have a really nice surface that the photo is being or the image is being taken on and also a really nice background. Now, for me, as you can see here with the ring light, I really like to keep it plain. It's always a plain white or, or creamy type look. Um, it's really just capturing the item that I'm trying to sell. There's nothing else to it. There's no background. There's, there's nothing else. It's just plain, crisp and really well lit. So lighting obviously, big tick, and then also a really nice clear background, and that will get some photos really popping the image that you're trying to sell. So you've taken the lighting into consideration, you've got a really good background for the photo. Now the next step is to actually work out what you're gonna to use to take the photo. My tip for this one is to literally just start by using your mobile phone. That's all I use and it gets the job done perfectly. I've got just a standard iPhone, it's a 12 megapixel camera, high resolution quality. It is all you need. You don't need to go out and buy the big fancy equipment. My trestle table cost me 20, my ring light cost me 30. This is a very low cost exercise. Don't think you need to go out and buy all the bells and whistles, because you don't. Start with your camera, it's in your pocket um, with your iPhone and you'll get the job done doing it that way. So tip number three is use your phone to take really good photos with the setup that we're gonna have sorted. So these shoes are gonna go onto eBay in just a moment. And eBay allows you to have up to 12 photos per upload or listing. So I'm gonna use up all 12 of those photos today with a couple of different angles. I'm gonna get into it right now and start taking these photos. I'm gonna show you what they look like and all the different angles that I use. The big tip that I have here is to make sure that you use up all the images available to you in your upload. I know it's time consuming, but it's really gonna pay off when the buyer can see exactly what your item is and, and what it's got to offer. You wanna be highlighting all the features all the benefits and putting in its best light with your good lighting, good backdrop and using multiple photos. So I'm going to jump into it straight now and I'm going to show you the results in just a moment. So I finished with my 12 photos. I was able to catch at every angle possible. Here's a good look at them right here. And while you're having a look, there's a couple of other quick tips that I wanted to let you know about. And that is obviously the first one is presentation. I should really say that you wanna be making sure that you clean your item and getting in its best condition before you're taking your photos. It's gonna go a long way for that buyer to see it in its best light and think that they wanna buy. The next one would be that if there are any marks, dents, faults, scratches, whatever on your item, you really wanna be making sure you're capturing a photo or a few photos of that issue because you really want to make sure that your buyer is fully aware of what the item looks like and the condition that it's in and that way you'll save yourself with a bad review if you're if you're absolutely capturing every part of it so yep look as you can see photos have come up well i only paid four dollars for this at an op shop so i'm really hoping to make a few dollars online 
Um, yeah, but look, thanks guys very much. Please remember to give it a like and a subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll be keep continuing to do the informational videos uh, every single week. We'll go out for a day in the life on Thursday and then there'll be a what sold on Sunday. So plenty of content coming your way. It's a great time to be jumping on board and subscribing. So please go ahead and do so. Uh, but for now, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks guys.